Onward! That's not the running button, that's the Monster Hunter running button. <laughs> I wonder if we're actually going to make it or not. I don't know, cause I kind of expected the game to end with us finally making it there, and it would be a series of, of like, just an endless series of problems between us and then, but maybe a new, maybe a whole new problem slash task or stakes or threat will arise after we've finished laying our mother to rest. Yeah, we really seem to have made it. Your quiver. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. What is Odin defending up here? Quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Good. Hmm. Go. Look Steady at you. Boy. Mind your footing. Kratos the craftsman. We're gonna want our axe drawn so we can strike it into the wall if we go falling down. Oh, man. Yeah, I might have spoken too soon when I said that we made it. Because this is just begging for us to have an avalanche scene. He didn't, he didn't even say better, or sufficient, he literally said well done. Getting a little lightning here, huh? Not handling it so well? Okay, we've made it this far. The snow physics. Okay, it's it's pretty good. It's a little more it's a little more awkward than looking than I thought at first. I saw a hint of it settling, and I'm like, what? Does the snow flow as particles? But no, it's mostly just going downward. Still, it's really good looking. I've never looked. I've never seen snow look like actual snow. So I'm not about to hold this game to that standard either. Hidden man, distant voice. I still can't do anything with this, right? Yeah. Maybe it'll happen up there. After all, there's two iterations of it right here. You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. I see you brought company this time. Must Mimir. Be important if the sons of 
Thor deigned to grace me with her presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Balder, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Oh, shut up. Stranger, male voice one and male voice two. So Mimir just straight up confirmed it. He just called Stranger Balder. There's two other guys, it sounds like. I only saw two people, but neither of those two people I saw looked like Balder. So those must have been male voice one and male voice two. At first glance, one of them sure looked like they'd be Thor, just because of, you know, the... All the bald beard and all that. And Mimir is the decapitated head of the wisest giant. I wasn't really expecting that accent, but okay. <laughs> the Vanir cut his head off. Like dicks. It was for a stupid reason, too. I don't remember the reason very well, but it was very stupid. Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy, well, we took their path. Make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me. I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. <clears throat> but Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Just given time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard, it's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can't we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? And Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, you will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. 
every single day. This, this isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother, in case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. The boy, the longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. Huh? So you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. the long-lost realm of the giants that's that's inconvenient yeah that's just what i was going to say huh he just plopped right on there huh at first i was like he's can't help but notice that mimir is not decapitated at the moment well that rectified itself pretty quickly <laughs> now he's nice and, deca and decapitated is he going to be a companion character is he gonna be the third character on this journey now? Cause I don't, I don't see what else he's gonna do. He's stuck to me. I'll forget to animate him first, but we have a solution for that. By the way, nice little detail of cinematography there. He's like, "There's a witch in the woods. She could know the old magic." And the camera pans down to there, where you can see the forest that the witch of the woods currently lives in. And you can tell it is that, cause over there is our house. Hey, Atreus. We can see her house from here. Well, not really the house, but more of a splotch. But, like, that's the golden ring that was the protection around our house. And that's the forest that the Witch of the Woods was in. You can actually make out those details from here. Oh, yeah. And there's the lake. And there's the serpent. You can actually see the serpent everywhere. It looks like the Wall of China or something from here. Like, the way that it just kind of goes along the slopes of mountains. This white shape. Obviously, it'd be very inefficient if the wall of China was that hilariously curved on that short of a scale, but yeah. Look at this place. Atreus, to me. Those are just I'm coming, I'm coming. those are just mountaintops. All right, so Odin's a right prick in this version of the story. He's already pretty bad to begin with, but he seems especially bad now. So this is the bridge to Yotnan. This looks like those weird doors we've seen. It does. I guess Mimir will help us figure it all out. Maybe those are also opened by the rune. Hmm. I can't remember the exact reason he got his head cut off in the source material, but it was something along the lines of like he was giving counsel to one of the leaders of the Vanir. And if I remember correctly, he, the Vanir leader wasn't even really heeding his advice, but misfortune befell them. So he was, so Ymir, uh, Mimir was blamed for their misfortune, and so they decapitated him. And it was actually Odin who found his head and uh, reanimated it and stored it somewhere so that he could benefit from its advice. But before that, Odin, yeah, it was Odin who sacrifices his own eye so that he could, so that he could drink from Mimir's well to gain some fraction of the wisdom that Mimir has. Because, because, uh, the tree, Yggdrasil, the world tree, has a root. One root goes into each of the nine realms, if I remember correctly, and there's a pool there at each of those locations where the, where the tree feeds. And, there, and there's different things going on in different places, like at a... Uh, the Aesir have a group of seers that that tend and lovingly to the, the root of the world tree in their realm. But like in the underworld, or the shadow realm or whatever, there's some kind of creature... It's like a snake or a wolf or something that is just sitting there just gnawing on the tree all the time, always attacking it. 
But in the in Jotunheim, the Mimir, who is a giant in that version of the narrative, he doesn't seem to be in this case necessarily. Uh, he looks over that particular well, and that well, drinking from that well, leads to uh, gaining great wisdom. And so when he, when uh, Odin wanted that, he required a great sacrifice in order to let him drink, take one drink. And the sacrifice was that Odin needed to car carve out his own eye, and he did. What do we got here? The symbol of defiance. What is up with the masks? They make no sense to me. So much of this game is explained in game or by mythology and the masks, I just don't... I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know the significance of the masks and, and I don't know why Atreus do knows to stab them. The way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. Ooh. Hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Mimir back. He seemed nice. Before you cut off his head. I'm just remembering now that the cave that led to her place was full of so many little like Metroidvania style mechanics that I pro were at least some of those I can now open. We probably make multiple trips there over the course of the rest of the game. Ah, a teleporter. There we go. I was a little worried on behalf of Kratos. I'm like, it took us a long ass time to get up here. I don't think a shortcut's gonna do. Like, and, oh, the, like the in, like the the shortcuts we've met before. Like, I don't think a, a fucking a convenient dwarf elevator is gonna take us back up here. Nope. Time to straight up teleport. Cannot travel to this yet. Yeah. It looks like we will be able to travel to them eventually, but for now we can only travel to this one island. And then we have to walk from there. So I think by, by the time we get this dwarf, by the time we get this giant's rune, we'll probably have the ability to teleport back to the other places that aren't just the Temple to Tyr, I think. Balder, and you fought him and won! Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. Ooh, that's a wrong answer, Kratos. You don't want him to do that. I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. He may be the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind, too? Is that why you don't like to talk about my the kind? I mean, your family. Before mother and I, where you came from, mother, a father. Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. Yeah, they, they totally made this whole tree thing here to commit to the whole no loading screen thing. They're essentially loading the next zone while that happens. I see what you're up to, Whoa. game. What? I'm on a fucking break. Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Pat. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage! Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip us up. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. 
Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> Along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit pister? What do you know? I just mean Hey, that do you mind? Trying to concentrate here, already on a break from my break. Mm -hmm. Atreus knows exactly what most people are thinking. I wonder if we're going to be able to reunite the two of them together and have them... Because I'm, I'm... Yeah, they got to pay off this by having those two interact at some point. Because they're going to have some kind of... They'll, def, they'll definitely have a shtick. Hey, where's your beast of burden? What do you mean? I ate her. Fat bits of her out just a while ago. What is wrong with you? What? Her milk ran dry. She was your friend. Then she'll be happy I'm so well fed. Shit bricks, boy, you got a real sentimental streak, know that? Don't get yourself confused out there. I'm getting back to it. Oh, that's probably her meat. So what'd you find out there? Yeah, that beast of burden only showed up like once. Long enough to get a nickname. And now she's dead, apparently. Okay, if that'll hold you for now. You named her... Gratitude, I think? Oh, we're short on the money this time. Wow. Yeah, we can afford some major upgrades. Oh, this, that, that'll be the last one, though, huh? Because then his tree will be maxed out. I do want it. Uh, like two and a half grand to go. That's a bummer. Selling stuff just isn't really that valuable for the most part. So I'd prefer not to throw stuff away that I might might use at some point. We'll just have to wait for a little bit more money, and then I can upgrade his bow. And then we can max out his skill tree. So I've got some spare stuff. How much are those going to cost me? Uh, it won't tell me yet. It won't tell me yet. This one's a weird one. You can increase the number of targets from 3 to 5, then to 8. But it's the weird, like... Lock-on system? Like, from res? I guess? I'm close to being able to afford the next upgrade for him, so let's go ahead and keep my experience around until then. Because maximum upgraded arrows are some good shit. Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. Okay, I got a test. And here I thought you valued life. <laughs> I'm a bad person. Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That one. Behind the big statue of Thor. They seem really worried that I'm gonna forget. Where actually is the statue of Thor? Whoa, look at him. It's easy just to lose track of him in the background, but yeah. He's keeping an eye on this. The statue of Thor is like further back there, isn't it? Oh yeah, there's there you there you are. There's the turtle. I think that no, this one. There we go. Back the other way. You're one of the harbingers of Ragnarok. Hell, the world serpents, and Fenrir. 
Oh, there's the oh, there's the statue of Thor. Blended in with the rocks, the slopes, and everything. All right. Oh, here we are. No. Maybe. Was it through the legs? There's something back. Oh no, yeah, this is the right cave. Gotcha. If we interpret the idea that I'm going to be the cause of Ragnarok because I'm Kratos, then it definitely adds to the idea that the World Serpent specifically exposed the temple that we need to do our job once he realized that we were here. That other... That other message almost seems to imply that maybe that the World Serpent was safeguarding the temple? Like, was it the Raven Master or whatever it was called? Oh, I guess the Raven Master would just be Odin, huh? Because he's the Raven guy. So it sounded like Odin was trying to go after Tyr's temple. And it sounded like perhaps... Like, uh... The World Serpent decided to defend the temple. By submerging it in the lake. Making it useless, but also preserving it until we show up. And here we are. Wakey wakey. I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No. But you may feed it to the fish. Okay. Feed it to the fish. It's a little weird to keep the head otherwise. It's a person. Hey. Oh. I'll go back that way. And now the door's gone. The witch's turtle must be standing up. So how do we get back up there? Oh, we have to summon the, the witch back down. Nope, here we go. Nope. None of that now. Huh. I don't remember what the... What's the deal with the weird glowy thing? I don't know if I've seen that before. I was like, I, 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 uh, I was definitely thinking, I know something, the shield breaks. It's hiding in here somewhere, where is it? <laughs> yum, 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 I can't see shit. <laughs> I couldn't see a single thing on the screen. Well, the witches have gotten considerably less annoying to kill. What's your deal? I bet this will lead out. Oh, it, oh. You're bad at this, you know. It didn't stop me from opening the chest. decipher those musical hammerings. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire realm? Oh. You can now read the language of Muspelheim. And you can now access Muspelheim from the travel realm room. Hello. There's an entire realm we can now access and we can also n deal with those damn things that I couldn't deal with. I kept where I visited every single one of them. But couldn't use any of them. Good shit. 